Nelk Boys raked in tens of millions after their NFT sold out in less than 10 minutes. I don't know everything about this story, but I was on Twitter when it was all going down. Uh, they have this membership card. They call it MetaCard. It's this, um, well, obviously it's an NFT. Uh, it's on Ethereum. But the idea being that holders of this card will have perks relating to Nelk. It's like a fan pass. Yeah, like if they do events or sell tickets to anything or have exclusive merch, like those who have the meta card may have some advantage, will have some advantage. They say it's just the beginning. Um, it was like maybe $25 million uh, initially. Plus they have a 10% royalty whenever this stuff gets resold. It looks like the floor price has stuck around one ETH. Um, the mint price was 0.75 ETH, but what happened was Sam Pepper got involved and he was, people were saying it was a pump and dump scheme because he quickly sold what he had access to, which was before the public launch. This all happened on Twitter. And if you don't care about NFTs or pump and dump or rug pull, people were just, they were, they were, they were skeptical as it was all going down mm -hmm. about whether it was legit uh, but then you had Kyle from uh, from Nelk. He, he went on Twitter and kind of addressed some of the stuff and was like, hey, we're sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have let him in the friends and family list. We had like 500 available to that group. But you and I were talking. It's a membership card. Why Why even make any of it available? I mean, it's so you're, there's so much money to be made here. Uh, well, you said it was like 30 million. In an instant? I, I think it would be, well, you'd be, point, it depends on the price of ETH at the time that they were all sold, but it was 0.75 ETH and 10,000 units. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever. Between 20 and 30 million, something like that. So, but it was weird. There was, they had these initial units that were given to, uh, or access was granted to friends and family, and then some some behaviors took place, and it's all public. Everyone can see what's going on. And so it kind of upset some within the NFT community, but it seems fairly squashed. Uh, Kyle went on Twitter and was and said it was a mistake letting those people have that access, and it's a long term thing that he's working on. They've done they've done some big things in the past, so mm -hmm. time will tell. I mean, they got to obviously deliver to these people. One ETH is not nothing. These uh, people are in there for a few grand a piece, mm -hmm. and at some point they're gonna hope to get some perks or go to some parties or whatever you would hope to do with a meta card. Sure. In, 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 in the real world and in the metaverse, you may want to go to the Nelk lounge in the metaverse to, to be clear. Yeah. You get to do both.